Let's get into our first question. Professor Fite, what is medical missionary work? Medical missionary work is the right arm of the gospel. It is the entering wedge to the gospel. It cannot be separated from the gospel. And indeed, it is part of the gospel. If you look at how Jesus dealt with people, he did more healing than he did preaching. And uh, that is what he wants to convey to humanity. You see, God is not just a God who wants to heal us spiritually, but he wants to heal us physically as well. And once you can get onto the road of healing physically, then you can get onto the road of healing mentally. And when you're on the road of healing mentally, then you can get onto the road of being healed spiritually. In order to discern truth, you need healthy channels in your mind. And the only way to achieve that is to open those channels. And that is where medical ministry comes into play. Powerful, powerful. You know, Professor Fight, it's so interesting or profound that God wants us to have a holistic message. He doesn't just will for us to be spiritually well, but as you mentioned, physically, mentally, emotionally, socially, because God is concerned with every aspect of our lives. And so we have medical missionary work as an entering wedge for the gospel, which is, is also very interesting because God does not will for medical missionary work to be separate from the core, the body of the gospel. But I'm sure we'll be getting into that soon with our third question. So now well, that we have let me, just, uh, yes. let me just add something. Where in the Bible do you ever find that God separates a lifestyle from his mission? Mm. The very first things that he told Adam and Eve were concerned with things that were good for them and things that were not good for them. Even if the fruit was healthy in itself, it was not good for them spiritually. So there are some things which might be medicinal even, but are not there for daily consumption. If you take the, the story of the children of Israel, God didn't just want to relieve slavery. He also relieved them from the slavery of wrong habits in terms of health. And uh, it's just interesting how they complained when he did that. So there was a health message in the beginning. There was a health message in the body of, of the Israel movement. He gave them a health message. He told them what was healthy for them. He led them along that path, and most of them rebelled. But not all. And then you have all those beautiful examples in the Bible where those that adhered to the principles, like Daniel and his friends, for example, that made a covenant in their heart, how they were used of God, how God can use people that are willing to walk that road. And therefore, it will be no different at the end. It's all a matter of choice. Who do you trust? Do you trust God or do you trust man? Powerful, powerful. God never separates lifestyle from mission. <laughs> 